Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way to tint the shadows and the highlights separately with a great degree of control. And the way that you do this is I'm going to go to Adjustments and to the Gradient Map, which appears above here, by the way, because I've set up here that Adjustments appear as a new layer. Anyway, so what we want now is to take out the middle one, we don't want that. The what we want to change is down here. So if I go to the colour here, the HSL colour wheel is a good way of doing this because I can just pull this around to the colour. And generally speaking, the shadows are in a cool colour, which is in this region here. So let's do it around about a kind of a teal around here, between cyan and blue. And then I'm going to pull this one here down a bit. I'm going to come back to adjust this because I want to do the other end first. So go to that end there and I want this to be transparent. I want nothing, no changes in here because what I'm going to do is I can set the blend mode to linear light. Now this here, I don't want anything in the highlights. So in the contrast blend mode, the transparent colour is grey, so I just need to set that to grey. So I go to the colour here, and I can just go down to here and set it to 50 there. And there you're not getting anything in the highlights. You're getting quite a lot across the picture, and that'd be okay. But if you want to constrain it more, then I click on the line here to add a new point. I want to set that one to grey as well. So I just go on here and set that to 50 as well. A quick way also if you're having trouble doing this is from here go down to swatches and at the top here the middle one there is a 50% grey. So if you go to the HSL colour wheel again there you'll see there that's on the 50 mark. Now what we can do is as I drag this up here or down then I'm kind of pushing the blue colour here only into the darker and darker areas. Now if this is rather a bit too blue here, I just go back to this, go to the colour and drag this down towards that 50% mark. Because if I go all the way to 50% there, then I'm getting no colour at all in it. So I can then come up to the just amount, the amount of colour I want in the shadows. I've also always got here is opacity, which I can also adjust up here. So I can change, turn it up and down with that as a kind of a final or tweak later on. So I'm going to take this now. So that's my shadows. I take that now and Control J to duplicate it. I'm going to call the original one shadows. And this one I'm going to call highlights. Now to adjust this, I'm just going to turn off the shadows for now and open this. And I want this to be like the other way around. So I can do that simply with the reverse button here. So now the highlights are appearing in blue. Let's sort of pull this down a bit. I usually have a bit more space on the highlights. And this, I want to change this to a good way to go actually opposite this. So I just turn this around here and it's going to be around the yellowy orange colour. Because of the blend mode it'll push it more towards primary and second colours so you might need to tweak this around till you get the colour you like. So literally look at the colour. So if you want more of an orange there you might have to push it around a bit more towards the red. And if you look here this was white up here. If this is going to be a bit much here we can always go here and adjust down towards the grey. With highlights in particular as well, you might also want to try changing the linear light to vivid light. In fact, you can, either of them, you cannot take any of the contrast blend modes. Vivid light simply avoids putting colour into white, so that the white will stay white. Entirely up to you as to how you do this. But what you've got then is highlights and shadows. If these are within their own range, not sort of fitting over into the other one, then you can put them both on together. 
the suit, but it gives you separate controls. You can stretch them, you can recolor them, you can add extra points in here. So you could have the blue, the darker blue, then maybe a more of a turquoise blue here, and so on. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.